Touching on something that you mentioned earlier, purpose of both life and wandering around, I would like to ask, oh dear, what is the purpose? <laughs> what is the purpose of music and particularly your music? What goals do you have for your music? Music and art in general just, you know, kind of make life bearable. <laughs> In my opinion, you know, it's, you know, are they, you know, obviously they're not necessary in the way that, say, you know, like medical advancement is necessary or, I don't know, living in modern society has some form of organization in government, however lax it may seemingly be, is necessary. People need food and people need shelter and, you know, people need to be kept healthy. But then, you know, without art, there's, I don't know, I feel like you kind of lose the purpose of being or there's without art there's no there's not as much of a reason to be healthy or to have shelter you know those times when you are i suppose content or those times where you are taken care of if you know you don't have art then at least for me there's not much of a reason to live you know uh, which in a way is a you know in a sense it's a bleak way of looking at it but I don't know, I can't, I also, I don't know that I can say what the purpose of my art is in a very general sense. I know, I believe kind of adamantly that art is, uh, it's, uh, it's communication, which means that it's not just about what I think, it's not just about what I want, it's what other people get from my music. So, I don't know, if one person says that they get this emotion out of a piece of mine and another person says something completely different, and both of those ideas are completely different from what I was trying to say, if those people are moved by their interpretations, you know, who am I to say, no, you're wrong, you know, you're demeaning, you know, the emotion that you get from this is wrong, you know, that's ridiculous. I, for music, you know, it's just as much about the listener as it is about the, you know, the musician. And I, that really came out, uh, there were some people commenting on Beautiful Discord for a while, which I feel like that's an interesting sort of piece to start a conversation on because it's sort of ethereal and drifty and dreamy. So, you know, there's not, I don't know, it's not the most definitive emotion, you know, I've ever put into a piece that I've really enjoyed listening to what some people say they get out of the piece for exactly that reason, you know. I just love hearing about and reading about, you know, what people really get from music I create. And, you know, and it honestly makes me happier when people depart from what I had, you know, initially thought of, because that means I've done something that's multifaceted, which, you know, means that more people could theoretically be affected by that art, which is really, at the end of the day, what we want to do is we want to reach people. Yeah. And... Going back to the, the purpose of art as to make life tolerable, <laughs> would you say that sort of by, by a transitive way of looking at it, is the purpose of life to experience art? You know, you could say that. I, um, you know, it's hard speaking from a 20th, 21st century perspective because I've, you know, never lived a day to day, I hope I can find food, like sort of existence. I've been very privileged, so I've always had the benefit of being able to take in art. So I have no way of imagining life without art. But I mean, yeah, that's also kind of the point is, you know, living in a civilization where we have transcended, you know, at least we're trying to transcend for everyone this sort of, you know, uh, constant, uh, this constant struggle to survive, perhaps. Exactly, yeah. And I mean, obviously, there are still people who heartbreakingly are still living in you know dreadful poverty or you know under oppressive government but you know generally we uh do sort of have those uh, moments of contentment between you know say look at most of the western world where you know you get home or you get back from classes or what have you and even if it's late you have some time before you go to sleep and before you get up and go do you know your practical things again where you know you're just kind of there and you could sit there and ponder life you know which is fine in its own sphere but if there's no art at all then you know what's supposed to take up that space i don't know in hindsight this all sounds very bleak but uh i don't know i feel like just as humans it's kind of what we do and it's kind of not necessarily the reason that we've you know evolutionarily progressed but it's definitely i mean from about as early as you can call us humans, it's shown up. And I mean, I feel like it's just 
as human as anything else, as any organs in our bodies or as any, you know, innate behaviors. Yeah. Would you say then maybe the purpose of life is to give life purpose through art? I don't know. Um, saying life has a singular purpose like that is a big statement. And I don't know, that's kind of why I guess this comes back to, I guess I can identify with the soldat, with the soldat, the wandering soldier, because, you know, I don't know, it's kind of big to assign, you know, a singular purpose to life. And, but, you know, in a way that's kind of scary and, you know, in a way more comforting and just, you know, easier and more reasonable to say, you know what, I want to do this. This would make people happier. So I'm going to do this. And that's kind of what I do with my music is, you know, am I going to change lives? Probably not. But, you know, there are people who, when I release a song, it makes their day better. And, you know, in the big scheme, if you have lots of people doing that, you know, that does kind of start to make a difference. And, you know, that does, you know, is there one big purpose for that? You know, maybe not, probably not. I don't know. But and basically, I'm doing something I enjoy and it seems to bring uh, happiness to other people so in a certain sense that's my purpose i guess right and, and you bring up a very valid point it's it's a big statement and it's also a, a scary statement to assign purpose because what if later on down the line you you find you're wrong <laughs> yeah perhaps change your mind that could put you in a very interesting position do you have a favorite form of artistic media be it Poetry, film, visual arts, music, or literature? Um, you mean to take in as opposed to create, or...? Uh, let's go with both. Well, I like taking in all art. I'm, uh, I probably understand both literature and music better than, um, anything else, I would say. So I'm kind of partial to those. But yeah, as far as creation, I'm in this awkward position where I've been writing a lot of poetry lately, and a little bit of nonfiction, except I feel like logically, I'm probably a better composer. <laughs> I'm probably better at creating music. So I don't know if that's the tiny identity crisis of the day, of the year. Uh, but yeah, there that is. Well, now you've got me uh, really curious. I, I want to read all of your poetry.